Welcome back to the details. American President Joe Biden headed for uh, uh, the Ritz Resort of Sharm El Sheikh on Friday to take part in the COP27 UN climate meeting. Biden, who is on top of a high-level delegation into climate meeting, will deliver a speech on the U.S. administration's efforts in the file of reducing emissions and helping vulnerable groups to build capacity to adapt to climate impacts. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received the U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and her accompanying delegation in the Ritzy Resort of Sharm El Sheikh. The meeting took place on the sidelines of the COP27 conference. During the meeting, President Sisi addressed to Pelosi that Egypt uh, is continuing in uh, fighting terrorism and extremism. The head of the state also stressed the significance of Egypt-U.S. strategic ties, adding that Cairo is keen on boosting them in all domains. For her part, Pelosi expressed her appreciation for Egypt's efforts and vital role in maintaining stability in the Middle East region. President of the 27th Climate Change Conference, Foreign Minister Sami Shukri met with the U.S. Climate Envoy John Kerry on the developments of the ongoing discussions regarding different climate issues, as well as the activities held on the sidelines of the conference. Kerry reviewed his country's position regarding all the items listed in the COP27 agenda. For his part, Egypt's top diplomat, meanwhile, expressed happiness over the positive morale of delegates to the conference who showed their desire to reach understandings regarding different topics, including included rather in the conference's agenda. Activities of the UN Climate Conference COP27 continue for the sixth consecutive day on Friday in Egypt's Red Sea Resort of Sharm El Sheikh. Friday's activities tackle decarbonization. And it's a Decarbonization Day on this day, COP27 activities of Youth Future Generation Day session started with Youth-led Climate Forum. The activities included launching the Innovation for Climate Initiative, hearing the voice of youth, and reviewing success stories. During the session, Minister of Environment Dr. Yasmin Fouad said Egypt has exerted great effort in raising youth awareness concerning climate action and reiterated that Egypt is capable of implementing its climate commitments to save humanity. For his part, Minister of Youth and Sports Ashraf Subhi expressed appreciation for the youth participation in the COP27 and for their efforts asserting that governments and officials must make sure that the voice of youth is heard. UN Climate Change High-Level Champion for COP27 Mahmoud Mohideen highlighted the need for all parties to participate including women and youth in climate action decision making. Under the directives of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, the Armed Forces Supply Authority, distributed one million and a half of food packages with half price in a move to ease the burdens of living on citizens. Staple commodities packages were delivered by a convoy of trucks to citizens in different uh, provinces to contribute in providing the main commodities to the citizens nationwide. <laughs> 